An update tonight on a beloved principal paralyzed in a freak accident. He's finally back home in Westford, a home completely renovated by volunteers to make it wheelchair accessible. Kevin Lacoste's life changed forever in a split second. He has been working every day since the accident to get stronger. And today he talked with us about his recovery and how grateful he is to the many people supporting him. I wake up each and every day and I'm living a new life that I never thought I would be living. In July, Kevin Lacoste was playing with his kids when he thought it would be fun to hide from them by climbing this tree in his Westford front yard. I decided to make one more reach for the limb above me and slipped and fell. His spinal cord injury means he is paralyzed below the chest. I have feelings um, in my head and my neck and my shoulders and parts of my back. He's also recovered some sensation in his upper arms. Which, you know, provides us with some hope that over the course of the next several years, some of those movements will, will come back. As soon as people learned about Kevin's devastating injury, they stepped up. Hundreds of volunteers renovated the family's home. Friends and even strangers donated money and materials. And they did it all in four weeks. It just lets me know that there's so much kindness that exists out there. I'm so grateful to be here. And the tree, it's still here too. One of the first trips that I made when I got home was to the tree to make peace with it. We still talk about the accident because we think that that's healthy. There's a sign that hangs above our bed that says, you and me, we got this. I think we use that as our mantra to stay positive. That said, we certainly have our moments where we have really tough days. <laughs> Allie Lacoste has taken a leave from her teaching job to care for Kevin. And now they begin to travel a long and uncertain road. I still get to wake up and I get to see my wife lying next to me. I get to see my children each and every day. I'm me. Nothing's changed except that I, I have some wheels that need to help me get around. I'm going to steal his phrase. You got this, Kevin. Kevin says he decided to talk to us so that he could tell people how grateful he is for all the help and support that his family's received. He is hoping to return to his principal's job one day and to spread awareness about spinal cord injuries. And just the outpouring of love for him and for his family has been so great to watch over the months since that accident. Incredibly powerful man who yep. you can see just keeps a, a smile on his face. And uh, his life now will be a lesson to so many that things can change so quickly. And I, I love his attitude. Absolutely. So, Kevin, thank you for sharing your story with us.